there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty coming to you from my kitchen to share with you a much awaited video and that is what I eat in a day on a carnivore diet. Now I have been on the carnivore about two months and maybe three weeks, not quite three months yet, and I've experienced major benefits including losing the few pounds of extra weight that I had on me. I'll show you a before and after picture that shows you a little bit about how I looked in terms of in my face before I lost that six or seven pounds. Here it is. As you can see in the before picture, I looked really puffy and really jowly. Kind of scared me, quite honestly. And then the after the picture, my skin looks a lot tighter and toned because I've lost that extra five or six pounds. And if you're a female like me, all your life, you tend to struggle with that extra five or six pounds. And it was wonderful to lose that. However, the main benefit of this diet for me is that I have totally lost my IBS I suffered from from about 10 years. So I'm so excited about that. And before I get into every meal that I have in a day, I'll share all that with you. And do stick around to the end because I'll be showing you my two carnivore snacks, which I could not exist without my carnivore snacks. So do stick around for that. But first I did want to show you my outfit of the day. And this is a very simple outfit, very cheap from Amazon. All the jewelry is from Amazon, really love the jewelry. But this t-shirt I have in many different colors. It's a halter top t-shirt. It has been with me for about a year and a half. It's gone in and out of the wash. I always wash it in a normal wash setting, but then I hang it dry. And as you can see, it still looks great. Very colorful after that year and a half. Okay, let's get into this. Now, to begin with, I don't always eat breakfast, but I can eat breakfast because I like to stay in a weight window of between 118 and 120. And quite honestly, very quickly on the carnivore diet, I went from my 125 pounds down to like 115 or 116. And so I'm really concentrating on eating more, which is something you will experience if you go on the carnivore diet is you can eat till you're stuffed and you're still losing weight. It's amazing. Okay, so I'll show you the breakfast that I have when I do eat breakfast. And the first is this bacon and I get it from Kirkland's. It is this fully cooked bacon absolutely love this totally totally handy and what you do is you just take it and i do have a great little bacon cooking device which i've had for years i'll try to link a similar one before but you basically take this and put it in the microwave and i leave it in there on two minutes okay the timer just went off two minutes and i like my bacon a little bit crunchy maybe even a little bit black <laughs> and so you may not want to go this long that's how they ended up looking absolutely gorgeous little bacon slices and they are crunchy and wonderful. I'll take a bite here. Yeah, I'm very crunchy. And basically I use part of this on my breakfast and then I just put it in a baggie. And for the rest of the day, if I get hungry and need a little snack, I can grab a piece of bacon. Mostly I don't eat breakfast, but when my weight is a little down in the morning, I will eat breakfast. And these are from Costco and they're wonderful. This is the Egg Witch Turkey Sausage Sandwiches. And basically what they are, I'll show you. I have one all wrapped up here to go in the microwave. Let me unwrap that. Basically what you do is you end up wrapping it in a, in a damp paper towel to cook it in the microwave, one minute on each side, but I'll show you how it looks. And this looks like an Egg McMuffin and it really tastes like it, but it's not. Instead of a piece of bread here or a muffin or a biscuit, this is an egg patty. Isn't that amazing? And then you have cheese, the turkey sausage, and another egg patty. Absolutely wonderful. And then what you do, and I'll try to get this unwrapped again. Alan and I had a little technical glitch where it wasn't recording, so I already did this. Let me uh, shake out this paper towel, but it's a damp paper towel. And then what you do is you just coat the sandwich in the damp paper towel, and then you take it and you, you cook it for one minute per side in the microwave. Okay, and here's how that looks, absolutely wonderful. And then I take from two to four pieces of bacon. I'm not really very hungry right now. So I'll do just two pieces of bacon. And then I put that all over that. And then I'll just cut it up here. And then I'll put some seasoning on it. Some carnivores don't use seasoning or they'll just use salt and pepper. But I figure, um, I really like the seasoning. So I use different seasonings on different things. But look at that egg and sausage, absolutely wonderful. And I can use salt and pepper, which I sometimes do. This is everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. I actually purchased it on Amazon and I'll link it below, but it's absolutely wonderful. If you like good spicy taste, I'll just put some of that over the top. Yummy. Absolutely love that. 
Now I'll take a bite and I'll tell you what it tastes like. I wish you could taste this. You would really, really like this. Okay, here's a bite that has some sausage and some egg. And I get a little piece of bacon here. Gotta have a good bite. Yum. That's very crunchy. The cheese adds a nice flavor. And the turkey sausage tastes just like normal sausage. Okay, now I got a bit ahead of myself because there are two other items that I do every morning that are, well, one of them is extremely fun, which is my morning coffee. And I'll show you that in just a few moments. But before my coffee, I actually do use a little bit of Metamucil fiber. And most, most people on carnivore do not need to add the additional fiber and they do just fine. But I've taken this fiber for all 10 years of my IBS. And I have noticed that I do much better when I continue to do the fiber. So I'll show you how I do that. It's just one teaspoon of Metamucil, about like that, in water. And I just filled it up here. And I do not like this stuff very much. And it is the only thing I have in my life that has stevia now because I've given up the Diet Pop and I've given up anything sweet, but this has a little bit of a sweet taste and I'm fine with that. But I drink this as kind of like I get through this and then I get to my reward of my coffee, which I'll show you in just a moment. Ah, I have to admit <laughs> that does not taste the best, but it does help me, so I am doing that. Okay, the next step in my morning, I will wind back a few hours to five o'clock in the morning and I'll show you my coffee experience. Okay, next I have my coffee and it is a huge part of my day. Absolutely love this part can't get enough coffee, but here is my little coffee bar. I guess a lot of other people would call it a bar bar, but I have my coffee maker here, my Keurig. Alan's coffee maker, he doesn't like Keurigs, and then I have my soda stream, which is fabulous. But basically, I went ahead and put a little peppermint coffee in there, had a last one left over from Christmas. That looks really good. Then I have my I Am Fabulous mug, which I really do love that mug. It makes me happy. You know how you always grab for your favorite mug, that's mine. And then I go ahead and use my collagen peptides. And this is the Science Research brand. I just do one scoop in a cup of coffee in the morning. You can't taste it in there. And I truly believe that it helps my skin, hair, and nails look better. Alan gets mad when I don't put the lid back on. <laughs> I think he uh, grabbed for it once up in the cabinet and the lid wasn't on. And he wasn't very happy with me <laughs> when it spilled all over the cabinet, which I get that. Okay. So there is my coffee. Oh, I forgot my knife for my butter because I always put butter in my coffee. I didn't start that originally, but I realized I was losing weight below where I wanted to be and the butter helps with that and apparently also has other benefits. Let me get my knife. Here we go. Okay, now I have been just using the Great Value brand of salt butter from Walmart. It's fine with me. I started out with Kerrygold, which you get at Costco and everybody swears by it. But somehow when I melt it in coffee, sometimes it has something solid that remains and it's kind of gross. So I really prefer this better. It's hard to do this with one hand <laughs> and try to uh, do your video too. Okay, here we go again. And there's one tablespoon and I probably do near two, I would say. Something like that because I maybe have three or four cups of coffee. I'll have one cup of real coffee and then two or three cups whatever I want of decaf. I'm still on the decaf, but there is that. That was roughly maybe two tablespoons of butter. Just stick it right in there. And I know this sounds gross, girls. I thought it did too. Push that and there it goes. But now I really, really like it. Somebody called it a fat latte, fat latte, something like that. There goes the uh, Keurig. Yay! I really do look forward to this. And I am probably going to end up quitting coffee, but I'm going to leave that for a while. Some carnivores do not do coffee or even decaf at all. Or tea. They don't want caffeine. Yummy! Yeah, that looks so good, and it's really starting to melt. I use my knife here to stir it. <laughs> I guess I could have put a spoon in, but the lump is still in there. But it's doing, it's doing pretty well. You can still see it there. 
and I'll go ahead and try it for you. It's wonderful. Okay, here is my first sip of coffee. <laughs> Yum, absolutely love this. You don't have to have the butter. It's definitely not essential, but I do enjoy it. Okay, here I am in the McDonald's parking lot getting ready to eat my McDonald's lunch. I have to say I eat this a lot of days because the problem with McDonald's is really not in the beef. It's 100% beef and, you know, American cheese, probably not the best, but not too bad. But it's in the buns. It's in all of the sweet things. It's in all of the French fries, all of that. And so let me show you my lunch. This is my normal lunch at McDonald's. It is two double cheeseburgers with nothing, no bun, no nothing, just plain double cheeseburgers. I put a little pepper on there, a little salt, and I put some mustard packets there beside it. Absolutely wonderful. This is one thing I get too. I used to get a Diet Coke, but for the last week and a half, I have gotten rid of Diet Cokes entirely, and I do have an iced tea, a lot of the lunches, although I'm trying to cut down a bit on caffeine, so that may go by the wayside in the future. And I've just gone to Sam's and gotten my little Slim Jims, which I'll tell you about a little more later in the video. And I'm going to Whole Foods to take back an Amazon. Okay, I just realized I'm almost finished eating these two burgers, and I wanted to show you where I'm at in the eating the burgers. And I will say, you know, this is four burgers and four pieces of cheese. I am super full, like stuffed. Like before I did carnivore, and I just lived my life up to that point, I never liked to get this full because I just felt like, oh, I'll gain weight, I'm stuffing myself. But that is one of the beautiful benefits of the carnivore is that you can eat till you're comfortably full, as Dr. Ken Berry says, and I definitely do. Okay, here is my plate as I'm nearing the end. As you can see, I chop it all up to begin with and then dip each piece in mustard, but absolutely love it. And I could stop now, I am super full, but I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. This is typically my life. McDonald's at lunch just makes it easy. Okay, there's Alan for us the dinner table there. And I am eating my dinner tonight. And at home, I would be normally eating ground beef or sausage or something like that. But tonight, I'm having a ribeye steak, and it is so good. And I brought my own butter because I just, sometimes they won't bring you butter, and I really like to eat butter on my ribeyes. Absolutely wonderful into the day. Okay, that was basically what I eat in a day. It doesn't vary a whole lot, although I can eat any meat I want, any seafood, that kind of thing. And then in terms of snacks, I have two that are my go-to reliables, and I almost consider these like desserts. The first I get from Costco, and this is their imported brie cheese. It's called French brie, and I think it really is imported. And I've got to tell you, if you don't like ammonia taste in your brie, this is a fabulous cheese. And here is my normal serving size on my snack, which is three pieces of this. Once in a while, I'll get greedy and I'll do four, but it's, it's too much. I really just like the three. And my second snack I actually get from Sam's. They don't carry this at Costco, I wish they would. This is 120 sticks of Slim Jims. And I eat these whenever I want a snack or for dessert, something like that, whenever I'm feeling deprived because everybody in my family say is sitting there eating apple pie, I will get my beef sticks or my brie or both. It's wonderful. The only problem that I have with these little Slim Jims, and they taste wonderful, and they do have a few carbs, but that doesn't really bother me. I figure I'm being good 99% of the time in terms of the carnivore, but the only problem is getting them open. And so what you do is you just take your little kitchen scissors and you give each one a little slit and then they pull open very easily. And I'm not going to eat this for you, but it is wonderful. Everybody knows what Slim Jims taste like and they are great. Thank you for watching my carnivore what I eat in a day video. And if you have any questions or things you particularly love to eat, please share the information in the comment section below the video. Or if you're on carnivore and have had good or bad results, please share that as well. And if you'd like to see a 90 day results video, please let me know in the comment section because I would be glad to share that with you. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And today I won't be reading from any cards or anything like that. I just want to tell you that part of my carnivore journey, if you watch my other videos on carnivore, which I'll link below, is that I am trying to get that mood boost benefit that they talk about, that little bit of happiness boost. And I have realized that there is a cognitive behavioral idea which has super helped me. And that is the idea of getting rid of the word should from your vocabulary. Like if you think, oh, I should work out, I should work out. 
Even if you do work out, there's no happiness there because you should work out and you did. So, you know, where, where's the happiness boost in that? But what you do is anytime you catch yourself seeing a should statement, I should do something, you say, hmm, what is it that I really want? And I would say in that case, oh, I really want to work out because I will feel so good and it will contribute to my muscles and it will be much healthier. I really want to work out. And then when I go down in the basement and I do my workout, I feel great because it wasn't that I should do it. I chose to do it and it feels great and I really accomplished something valuable. So friends, just for today, as you're going through your day, please watch for those times when you say should and then wind back the clock and say, what is it I really want? and change your statement to something positive. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.